In this part, we are going to talk about HTTP session and Laravel session allow you to store data across multiple pages or requests. They are useful for keeping track of logged end user, flash messages, and shopping carts. Let's see this with an example. Currently, I have already opened Amazon in this tab and right now my cart has zero items so if i browse some items let's click this one and add to cart add this item to cart as well as you guys can see there are two items in my cart even though i am not logged into the amazon website so if i visit another part of amazon for example this click here Add this one also to my cart and it will add now currently I have three items in my cart. Even if I close the Amazon website completely and reopen it again. Let's open it. Enter. Still I have these three items in my cart. This all happens because of the session. All these information are stored in my session. But if I open this Amazon website to another browser, so let's open it in this browser. So let's type Amazon.com, enter. Okay, come on. Now, in this browser, my card is zero because both of these both browser does not share same session the amazon trade both of them as two users not as single user so if i go here and uh, add this in my cart so let's uh, add this one add to come on add to cart Okay, let's add something from here. Okay. <clears throat> now, in this browser, I only have two items in my cart, but in this browser, I have three cart, three items in my cart. So, both of these informations are stored in a session. We can add item, we can remove it, we can increment it, or we can delete all items all keys from our session now let's see the see it in our project how we can add delete increment sessions in our own project so if we go to inside our dot e and v and in here if we find the session driver by default it's database it means that the Laravel store our sessions inside a database. And if I open my database, there is a table with the name of session. All the, the information about the user is stored. Sorry, all the information about the user session are stored inside this table. If we delete everything, all the session, everything will be deleted. And even if a user is logged in, they will all get logged out. So let's uh, go to our session controller in here and add an item to our session. So before the return in here to add an item, so add item to session. To add an item to inside a session, we just type session. Then inside session method, we will type addict and then we will type the key, the key name, for example, let's say favorite color and set it to blue. Now let's go to session. So let's uh, open our browser and let's go to this route session okay good let's uh, pick up now this blue color has been set to favorite color inside our session 
we can also retrieve an information from the session so for that we just have let's create a variable and give it my names like uh, session is equal to and fetch our favorite color so let's type here session and the key of the session so in our case it's favorite color so let's paste it here and let's comment this out and instead of this let's return our variable now let's go back refresh so right now we got blue as our favorite color we can also display all the keys inside our session by just returning so it's uh, instead of session let's return session then all method this will return all the keys inside our session so let's open let's click refresh now we have previous url flash all new our favorite color and as well as our token inside the session not just this we can also send a flash message in our session which only appear once then and when I, another time that the user refresh the page it will goes away so let's see this so for that we just have to type let i will type it before the return so we can type session after that flash and the key so in our case for example a status and the value or the message for example you visited a new page <coughs> save now let's go there and refresh our page now i got my flash message in here as a, a status you visited a new page now let's comment this out save and refresh again we have our status now uh, this time if i refresh my page the status will be disappear so let's click refresh now i don't have the flash message in here only my favorite color if you want to remove a key from the session we can do that also for example in here i have favorite color i want to remove this key from the session for that I just have to type session and forget then after that the key name so in our case favorite color so let's add this now let's go back to our browser I have my favorite color if I refresh now the favorite color has been deleted now if you want to delete all the keys inside app session we can do that as well so let's open here and if you want to delete all the keys inside the session we can just type session and flush f l u s h now if i go and refresh my page now there is nothing inside my session